That's right. Misery, congratulations. Thank you. How are you feeling right now? I don't know. It's kind of, I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. But I don't know. It's like, uh, it's hard to really say how I feel. I just feel content, happy. You look a little but relaxed. It's not you? over yet, you know? No. That's, that's the thing. So I can't really can't really be relieved yet in any way. Mm -hmm. like even if we're secure sub three, it's it's not really possible for me to relax just yet. It's such a back and forth for you guys because you're playing at such a high level and it's like, uh, and then you're done and you feel like, oh, okay, I can, oh no, wait, there's tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to keep playing. It's fun, so. So you, we've watched Fnatic go undefeated on the main stage and then you guys come out today and just I mean, you killed it today, two games in a row. Mm. What do you think it is that you guys have been doing differently as a team that allowed you to do what no other team has been able to do here at TI against Fnatic? I don't know. I think uh, both against Ehome and against Fnatic, we kind of pulled uh, some tricks in the draft that made them believe that <clears throat> a core hero was a core, when in fact it was a support all along. And that definitely gave us an edge. And then when you're, when you're losing in that fashion, it's kind of hard to recover, I think. And then on top of that, we're just pretty confident in general in all our stuff. So, yeah, it's a little bit of everything, I guess. Some people have likened you to a Cinderella story. Do you do you like that storyline? Does that does that help, or you just kind of like, um, hello, we're we're doing it, and that's just that's just how it is. I don't really think about that stuff anymore. Yeah, I don't really think about anything that way. Just we're just focusing on ourselves. That's all. This is the first time we've seen you as a captain, you know, in the general scheme of things ever. You've been at every TI, and now you're here mm -hmm. um, commanding your team through what has been an amazing few games. Give us the perspective of what TI is like um, as the captain this time. Um, I don't know. It's kind of, it doesn't really feel like I'm playing at TI all the other years. It's felt like TI because we have lost and crumbled under pressure and stuff like that. But this time it's like, just feels like a, a, a tournament for us, in a way. We're doing our thing, and it, it's working. And as a, for captain, it's like my team is also really good for me because they believe in what I'm. They believe in all my retarded ideas, like the slider support and stuff. It was already planned all along, kind of in my head at least. I mentioned it, and everyone was really skeptic. And then I told them, guys, stop, stop like arguing against this. Is this, this is gonna work? Believe me. And uh, and then it did, and then. Same thing with Naga yesterday, so that just feels good that they're they're willing to believe in it and they, like, they don't just believe in it; they also fulfill the, their their roles really well around it. So, when we chatted last week, you and I were talking kind of about all the different changes we see over the last year. If we were to rewind back to what you were going through in March of this year, mm -hmm. and now we fast forward and compare it to where you are now, yeah. Can you just reflect a little bit on on what that means to you as a person and as a player? Because you've you've been through quite a bit, and now here you are captaining a team. Um, I mean, you've made it this far at TI six. That has to feel amazing. Yeah, it does. Um, I am just happy for me and my team more than anything. I I don't I don't even enjoy the spotlight that much, and uh, I don't know. It's kind of incredible that I'm here compared to where I was in March. Definitely. Yeah, it is. And now you're going to be facing one of the other teams that was involved in all of the changes that we saw, in particular in the last couple of months, Evil Geniuses. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Um, we haven't thought about it yet. <laughs> you're so like, lady, we just got done, all right? Yeah, so <laughs> we need to think about it uh, today, evening, or tomorrow, and uh, then we'll see. It's going to be a long day tomorrow regardless. So I don't know. I think we should be able to beat them. It would be nice because I don't, I don't really want to see them win again, you know. I don't, I don't know. That would be wrong. So, yeah, we'll try our best. I'm sure you will. You've been so fun to watch, and I know Paul actually has a question for you. He was uh, dying to ask, and as he tossed out to us, he said that you guys were good buddies, and he was really excited and proud for you. So, okay. Paul, go ahead. Go ahead. What's your question? <laughs> Paul wants to know what's going on with your red eye. I think he's asking because he is red eye. Wow. See what I did there? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I actually just looked myself in the mirror and realized that it just happened during the game, I guess. Um, yeah, it's a little bit stressful, I guess, sometimes. Yeah. Even though I seem pretty chill right now, it's still, I don't know. It happens sometimes, I guess. Get a red eye. Yeah, red eye. Sometimes yeah. you just get a red eye. Red eye. 